Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another episode of Kids View. I'm your host, Fatima. And I'm Najia. To start off, we're both really sad because the month of Ramadan is ending soon. It went by so fast. Yeah. The good thing here is that Eid is almost here. Yay! <laughs> Are you excited, Najia? Yes, I'm really excited. It's time for Eid. <laughs> All right, guys. So for today's show, we will be discussing patience. Yes, patience. This is the month of Ramadan, and one of the most important things we learn from Ramadan is the importance and necessity of patience. But along with discussing patience, we will also be making Eid cards. And since Eid is almost here, we yeah. thought it would be something, you know, something good to make. And um, you know, it's just really easy. You can pass this out to your friends, or yeah. if you're having Eid parties, to your family and your friends. So this, these are the materials we will be using. We're going to be using construction paper and um, just any kind of construction paper you can use. Uh, and you'll be needing markers or just color pencils, any yeah. type. Any type. And you can use scissors, but you know, you basically just need construction paper and markers yeah. to just write in the card. But just to add a little bling bling to the card, we you know, <laughs> got our little decorations like sequins mm -hmm. and stickers. Um, and a little bit like glitter, mm -hmm. little um, mm -hmm. pencils. No, we're not going to use glitter. And we're going to use you know, these uh, little um, you know, decorations, these little pom poms. And uh, any you know foam Rhymes stickers, and, yeah, and tape. Uh huh. So oh yes, uh, last week we forgot to mention our flip books that we made. <laughs> so we're so gonna show them our flip uh -huh. books that we finished. So they're just we just um, wrote flip book on the cover page. We just wrote uh, Nadia's flip book and she wrote Fatima's flip book and we just added stickers. And then inside, you know, you flip yeah, it like this. Like that. And it just spells out Ramadan like this. So there's R, and then A, M, A, D, H, and then A, and then and then N, and then on the last page we wrote. Amazon Mubarak, and <laughs> that's just, you know, just, you just flip it through. Like, as we said, look, you can give this to anyone, your family, friends, sibling, parents. Yeah, so it's really good, you know, um, alternative, and for gifts, and, you know, anything, you can just make it, it's really good. So, um, the, our, so we're going to be making e-cards, but we're going to start decorating, you know, um, we're going to start um, making the cards, and we're just going to get our paper, construction paper, like this. So, so you can use any color, um, just any colorful paper for the month, for the month, like for Eid. Mm -hmm. So we'll be just using. We're gonna use this really color. pink, um, really kind of pretty. It's like a burgundyish, you know, kind of really rosy mm -hmm. red, pink. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just fold our um, a card. So just to get the card, you know, uh, shape, we're just gonna fold it in half. Our construction paper, and if you don't have, you know, this already like this rectangle shape, you can um, like cut it. If you have a really big piece. You can cut it with like scissors. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna do this, and now we're gonna start talking about patience. And our uh, first Imam, Imam Ali alayhi salam, said that the one who practices sabr, patience, will never be deprived, deprived of success, even though it may take a long time. Mm -hmm. So right here, just fold it in half, like Nadja just said. Mm -hmm. And just make sure you have a nice crease. Yeah. So just like that. Definitely. In our sixth, um, in our sixth holy Imam Jafar Sadiq said that verily sabr is to faith, what head is to the body. The body um, perishes without the head, and so also when sabr goes, faith also disappears. We all have the best role models in Islam to guide mm -hmm. us when it comes to all these important issues, and they have said it best. Mm -hmm. 
When Imam Ali salam, was asked about, asked about faith, Iman, he replied, the structure of faith is supported by four pillars, patience, sabr, conviction, yaqeen, justice, adl, and struggle, jihad. Then he explained further that patience comprises of four attributes, eagerness, fear, piety, and anticipation of death. So, whoever is eager of paradise will ignore evil temptations, and whoever fears the fire of hell will abstain from sins. Whoever practices piety will easily bear the difficulties and hardships of the life of this world, and whoever, and whoever anticipates death will hasten to perform good deeds. It has never been easy to be patient, but it's also harder now than any, than any time in history. Mm -hmm. In, in the world here, messages and information can be sent from across the world instantly. Everything is available with only a few clicks of the mouse. But with everything available, available at our fingertips, we must never forget the importance and necessi necessity of patience. Yeah. Patience is one of the strongest weapons in all situa situations. Whether we're tired, stressed, angry, happy, obsessed, upset, patience will always help us get through our most difficult times. That is why the patient, why the patient have been so rewarded and praised in Islam. And our ayma say that patience is a key to success. Yeah. It is an essential quality for all human beings. Yeah. So right here, um, mm -hmm. we just like yeah, as you said, fold it. So you can um, write on the front Eid Mubarak or um, Ramadan theme or some or like Ramadan Mubarak. So right here, I'm just gonna get some. Mm -hmm. And just and decorate, decorate it. Yeah, decorate however you like. Yeah. So like every like about patience, like everything else that needs to be learned, patience is also something that we have to slowly learn and develop into our personalities. Mm -hmm. So those us are more patient than others, or so it may seem, but that is because we all have developed ourselves into making these important qualities better and better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try to figure out why you are in such a hurry. Yeah. For example, waiting for an important party to start, we tend to lose our patience when we're multitasking or when we're on a tight schedule. Expecting the days to pass within only a few short minutes of busyness and chaos. Try to spread out your tasks so that you're doing only one thing at a time without leaving yourself twiddling your thumbs in eagerness of something to busy yourself with. Yeah. So pinpoint the triggers that others others often influence you to lose patience. For mm -hmm. example, when you are not doing anything, impatience creeps suddenly. If you feel anxious, worried, or unhappy, you may not even realize that the underlying cause of these feelings is impatience. Yeah. To reduce that feeling um, of impatience, it uh, helps to aware of it. Yeah. yeah, to be aware of it. Mm -hmm. So try to think of which events, people, phrases, or, or circumstances always seem to inf influence you to, to keep your cool, to lose your cool. Yeah. So, you know, sit down and make a list of all the things which can cause you anxiety, tension, mm -hmm. um, and, or frustration. At the core of most triggers is a reality that we have a hard time accepting. accepting. So yeah. what are those realities for you? Yeah, look for patterns. Be aware of your impatience also gives you a chance to learn from it and perhaps mm -hmm. uncover relationships or a circumstance that is simply not healthy or constructive mm -hmm. and that you may have the power to change. Figure that out and then you can think logically about the problem issue and decide whether, you, whether or not you, your impatience is okay or helpful. Mm -hmm. It usually isn't, but when, you, but when it is, you can you then figure out other ways to fix it the root problem rather than simply feeling uh, like stressed about it. So what do you do when you're like really you know upset or impatient about something? Like I have many ways but like they're not really like good for me to do <laughs> like <laughs> so for example like I just like go to my room and just sit down instead of like talking about it or or um like talk to a friend I don't like I don't uh, I don't really do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have I don't really have any tips because when I'm impatient, it's kind of like I get, you know, really <laughs> hyper and I just start jumping around. If I'm really excited to go to my friend's house or, you know, something like that, yeah. I would, I just, but then I try to calm myself down and yeah. think, you know, it's, um, um, you know, 
I don't know. It's, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to a friend's house. But if I'm upset about something and, you know, if yeah. I had a fight or an argument with my sister or something like that, I, I'm too, like, shy. <laughs> I don't have the nerve to actually say what I feel, like, really emotional stuff to yeah, her. So I just, so so I just send her an email. Like, I write right after that. <laughs> I write her an email <laughs> saying all this stuff, like, whatever I'm feeling in my heart and, you know, everything. And just send her an email, that's and a, you know, that's a good way to do yeah. And I, I, in that email, I always make sure that I say, "Don't reply to me about this email, like <laughs> in person. Reply to me by email because I don't, I'm too, I don't have the nerve to actually, yeah. you know, talk about this emotional business." Yeah, sometimes I just, I just like uh, go in my room and just like lock myself in there until I like <laughs> calm down. Yeah, so and really hard you know, to I do like that too sometimes. But you know, if you had an argument, I with anyone, you know, yeah, you I just should. write them an email. You yeah. know, it's. Should Emails like a really text good way. them, email them, like you know, video chat. You can have a something. conversation, but yeah. I don't like to have a conversation yeah. about the emotional, you know, stuff yeah. in person. It's just too much. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it's sometimes it's really good to talk about it, and yeah. you know, it's always good to write about it by yeah. email, and it really helps you. And you know, you can also keep a journal for one or two weeks. You, whenever you get that sense of impatience, you can write down whatever it is that feeling is associated yeah, with. Yeah. You know, example, um, July 1st, astronomy class. Or make sure that you take notes consistently and consecutively each time the feeling occurs. Yeah. So, so right you, here, I just, yeah, on my card, I just wrote Eid. Mubarak. Yeah, I'm going to write Mubarak. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check if this is a good color to, yeah. You can just do anything you want. Yeah, We're just going to write Eid Mubarak on our yeah. cards. I'm writing it in cursive. Fancy. <laughs> Eid Mubarak. Okay. Let's see. So, do you write emails sometimes? Um, I don't really do that, but I just like sometimes I text my sister about it because like I, um, like we just text it and then I just let it go and then later on like in the day I talk to her like at the dinner table maybe I talk to her about it. Um, yeah, so like you just can write it, write whatever you want. You can, like I said, Ramadan, um, Mubarak or just Eid Mubarak. Mm -hmm. So, um, just writing over here. If you mess up, you can use a different color and... Mm -hmm. Like everything else that needs to be, like, learned, patience is really, like, hard to deal with. Um, like, like, if you're not, like, the type of, like, person who can, like, really handle patience, it's really hard, but you can, there's many different ways you can look on you can look on the internet for it some ways, or just like, you know. So, how do we overcome these periods of impatience? In the long run, developing patience requires a change in your attitude about life, but you can immediately make progress by learning to relax whenever you feel impatient. Take a few deep breaths and just like, try to clear your mind. Concentrate on breathing and you'll be able to get your bearings. As Muslims, we are very lucky in this sense that we are blessed with this gift of Salat and prayer. We, ha we have some du'as from the Imams, like the Holy Prophet, the Ahlul Bayt, that provides us relief and comfort. Whenever we are, are troubled by anything at all, there are hundreds and hundreds of du'as mm -hmm. we can read to calm ourselves down. Besides the du'as, um, we have the Salat, which is namaz, the prayer that we offer five times a day at Fajr, Duhr, As Asr, Maghrib, and Isha. They give us a uh, time to clear our worldly thoughts and problems and troubles that just focus on Allah. What better solutions is there than that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, you can um, talk to each other about how namaz makes you feel. Mm -hmm. You know, does it calm you down? And you can call us and tell us. So, um... 
Um, praying is it's one of the best things a person can do at a time when they feel they're losing their patience. Mm -hmm. And even if, if it is not for a wajib salat, you can offer a mustahab or sunnah prayer. This is your time and connection with Allah. The salat is your conversation with God. It allows you to vent all of your troubles to your Lord and discuss all your, of your worries to Him, with Him. And He's our creator and mm -hmm. our sustainer, and He loves us even more than our very own mothers. And whenever we are worried or troubled or feeling impatient and anxious, we should always turn uh, to Allah and tell Him our problems. Many times we have problems or worries that we feel we cannot share with anybody else. Mm -hmm. So Allah is the closest to us, close, closer than any other human on this earth. He knows what is in our hearts even better than us. So who better to share our worries with than Allah? Yeah. And whenever you are troubled by anything, you take out your prayer mat and sit there in front of Allah and pray to Him to ease your worries, yeah. troubles, and grant you, and He'll grant you patience to overcome your issues. Mm -hmm. There are like many ways, like, mm -hmm. uh, like you, you can, can read dua, or you can just like you know read Quran to calm yourself down. Or talk so to how do you feel about praying? Like praying, um, like praying to Allah makes me feel like like find, like someone can understand me. Like you know, have someone like t to talk to. It really does calm me down. Like um, yeah, a few times I just got like the Quran and, and like or, like um, sat on my bed and just read a few verses and the Quran. Is it, have you ever done that before? Yeah, and it calms you down. Like it really calms you down, and yeah. you just feel more like you shared your worries with someone, and it's very you know. Yeah. Helpful. In a way. Yeah. So we're just. What are you doing right now? Um, I'm still writing the Eid Mubarak. Oh. If you just run out of space, if you just write it like on the. I board. wrote it like this, <laughs> Eid Mubarak, and just being creative. <laughs> so um, definitely like prayer and dua is turning to Allah in times of test provides. The best solutions and relief. Sometimes you have to realize that almost anything really good in life takes time and dedication. Mm -hmm. And if you're impatient or more likely to give up on relationships, goals, and other things that are important to, good to you, good things may not always come to those who wait, but most good things that do not come happen right away. Mm -hmm. Remember, what matters, not focusing on what matters most in this life, fuels impatience. Mm -hmm. Move the world toward, toward peace by being kind, generous, and learning to forgive others. Being grateful and taking full advantage of what matters most. Yeah. We should not waste away our time and energy and efforts on things that are un important. Yeah. Remember, patience is a mental skill that you will never forget. So, like, so cherish your patience as a major step for you in life. Impatience is not something to be proud of, but something that you should attempt to train yourself out, like to, um, like, uh, practice it more often. And, like, pa before it is something that overthrows your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, like, besides the patience things, like, you can um, also like. When you're impatient, you can just like make cards for your friends, or like you know do something to t take your mind off of things like that. And if, you know, it's patience is a really good tool, mm -hmm. and you should always be patient. Yeah. And always have a positive outlook in life. Always trying to have a positive approach is very important. So I'm just gonna color this letters in, or I'm just gonna actually leave it and just decorate it. <laughs> <laughs> so you can put as many stickers as you want, like stickers here, this one. So you can, I'm just going to use some of these. And um, we're not going to be writing inside today, um, but you can, you know, um, write inside in whatever you want or you can decorate it inside also. So I just cut the edges mm -hmm. like this. Just made a little oh, shreddy. That's cute. I want to see. I want to try that. Okay. <laughs> so I just did this over here. So um, 
Remember that life is not a race, but a journey to be savored each other of, of this way. When we try to look at the bright side and positive side of things, we automatically become more patient in waiting for things yeah. to improve and get better. We become more understanding by looking at the good side instead of focusing on the negatives. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, expect the unexpected. Yes, you have plans, but things don't always work out as planned. Accept the accept the twist and turns in life gracefully. That's like how life goes. Absolutely. Keep your, yeah, keep your expectations like realistic. This applies not only to circumstances but also to the behavior to those around you. Mm -hmm. so, so don't expect what you know that's yeah. not possible. You know. Yeah. You know, give yourself a break. Mm -hmm. The meaning of this is twofold. First, take a few minutes to do absolutely nothing. Just sit quietly and think. Don't watch te television, don't even read, do nothing. It may be hard at first and you may feel even Im impatient after a minute or two, but by taking some time out, you can essentially slow your wor wor world down. Yeah. So, so, you know, and that's important to develop the attitude necessary to develop patience. Mm -hmm. So second, stop holding yourself and the world around you to possible standards. Sure, we'd all be more patient if babies didn't cry, dishes didn't break, computers didn't crash, people didn't make mistakes. But that's never going to happen. Expecting the world to run perfectly and smoothly is like beating your head against the wall. <laughs> Give yourself a break. You know, don't... Yeah. Obviously, babies will cry and computers will crash. So, you don't have... To, you can't expect no. the world to be perfect. perfect. <laughs> like, whatever you do. Like, yeah. this is not perfect right now. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. So patience is a really good thing to have. Like, like um, the the holy personalities had it. Every like all mm -hmm. the um, imams had it. Like, like you have to be more like cooperate with things. Like if things doesn't go your way, you know you have to expect it. You have to accept it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And like sometimes, yeah, ex expect something to go not your way. Mm -hmm. So. Because life is not always yeah. the way you want it. So I'm just gonna. That gave a cool oh, effect. Oh, can I borrow the scissors? Okay. These are really um, cool scissors. It has like this kind of design, mm -hmm. like a zigzag design. Here, let me. Like, what are you planning to do for Eid? For Eid, I'm just gonna go to my uh, lo like local um, center. Sabah. In, yeah, Sabah. In uh, he over here. Um, like we just read, um, we read um, Eid Namaz, and we have this thing at my center that, like, it's a bazaar. Like, um, we raise money for our like um, uh, for our um, center, and we like get things like candy or toys or like raffles. A bunch of you know clothes and everything. Yeah, we uh, we yeah. also have like raffles to mm -hmm. win like iPods, iPads, yeah. or like like a um, like those cool things, so like you should definitely do that. Like if you have that center, that might be really cool. Uh, we go to the, you know, I go to Saba also, and uh, it's they have that, you know, it's like a fair at um, John Rod, and it's very fun, yeah, and you know, fun. and then on Eid like we go to this park, um, and we do uh, Eid them, uh, you know, namaz. namaz there in the morning. And there's and another bazaar there too. Yeah, and there's like a, it's really fun. They have like bouncy houses and yeah. everything, and you know, it's really cool. Like a lot of kids are there. You can make new friends, mm -hmm. and we definitely try something new. Yeah, and, and it was really fun last. Yeah, be um, patient. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. So. So are you doing anything with your family for Eid? Like, are you doing anything for your family or? Uh, not anything specific. <laughs> are you? Um, I think we're just gonna like uh, get a few things for my parents and have dinner out. Yeah, or probably you know, do something fun yeah. or. Mm, Get cards. Yeah. <laughs> same old, same old. <laughs> same old. But it's really fun, you know. Yeah. You can. You have to be patient. Definitely, also. like in Eid, you should spend a lot of time. Oh yes, and I also have an example. When you're waiting in line in Eid fairs or anything fun like that, you need to be patient. <laughs> oh my gosh, you need to be patient. <laughs> you need to this be patient. This one time I was in line, it was so long that it went like like the, from the stage to like the end of the hall, and it, and I couldn't even take it. Like I just like. We're not lying, we went somewhere else. <laughs>
Yeah, but, like, like that always happens. You yeah. people get impatient, and me too. Like, and if the whatever is coming at the end of the line is really fun, yeah. you know, it's always really hard to be patient. But you have to be. You have to try. Mm -hmm. Nothing is impossible in the world. Impossible says I'm possible. <laughs> Very old quote. <laughs> so I'm just. We're just finishing up, and yeah. um. You can call us and tell us what you're going to be doing on Eid, your experiences, yeah. and you can email us on, and um, this was actually a request to discuss patience from one of our viewers, and we yeah. did it because she of She was them. a very nice viewer, and she emailed us about um, tips and things to do on the show, and I hope you guys like, liked that. What do you usually do in Eid? Um, usually, like, we spend half the day at, like, my center, like I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same but, here. Um, after, we just, like, go home and, like, ha spend a little bit m t more time with my family and get together with uh, my closer cousins. Um, yeah. And, like, usually we have this um, thing every year. We do gift exchange, which we just sit in a huge circle and pass around gifts to, like, anonymous people. Like, they, it's like Secret Santa, but... Muslim version. <laughs> <laughs> it's like secret Eid gift. <laughs> so, um, uh, before we end the show, we'd just like to close off on the subject of patience. Yeah. So, in the Holy Quran, in Surah Baqarah, it said that surely Allah is with the patient. Mm -hmm. This shows us that patience is the best virtue of man because Allah is with those who are patient. If we, took a, uh, if we take a look at our holy third Imam, Imam Hussein salam, we would really see patience tested to its extreme levels. Mm -hmm. No one had the patience of Imam Hussein salam. If we leave all the other incidents of his life and only just focus on the trage tragedy, tragedy of Karbala, we would see that the patience of the whole world combined couldn't rival it. Yeah. And Prophet Ayyub salam, was very patient, but his patience in comparison to that of Imam Hussein salam, was like a drop in the ocean. The mountains wow. of calamities that crashed on him in Karbala and the hardships that surrounded him are well known to all. The way he lost all of his family um, members one by one, the way they were tortured, killed, kept thirsty in the heat, the way the son of Imam Hussein, Hazrat Ali Asghar, who was just six months old, was shot in the neck with, in the neck with the arrow in his, ha in his own hands. These were all tests of, patient of yeah. patience of Imam Hussein, and he succeeded, and he won all the tests. He was successful, and he overcame the evil. No matter what him and his family suffered, at no time and under no circumstance, the lips of Imam Hussein salam, uttered any complaint. In the time of calamity, the, the sentence he repeated was, We belong to Allah, and to him we shall return. Can we imagine how hard those tests of patience was for Imam Hussein? Rather, as much the difficulties in, in testified and how it got harder, harder, the mo more Imam Hussein's face brightened, he became as much reliant and dependent on Allah. Yeah. So whenever we have any worries or feeling that our patience cannot be tested anymore, always remember the test and level of patience of Imam Hussein. Mm -hmm. We are the followers of those infallible role models. We should look at their troubles and re realize that our problems, our worries, our troubles, our tests, and are nothing compared to theirs. Inshallah, we both pray for you. All that Allah bless you with all with all with more uh, patience and strength to overcome your worries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining uh, with us and spending time with us today as we discuss the topic of patience. Yeah. Since Ramadan is almost over and Eid is just a few days away, inshallah, we thought it would be a good idea to make Eid cards. They're yeah. easy to make, fun, and anyone can do them with simple and easy things already available at, available at home. We hope you all learned something about the importance of patience today. We, uh, we knew we learned a lot and um, while putting it all together for you guys. Um, we hope you all have a very blessed, blessed end of Ramadan and a very special Eid with all your loved ones. Um, see, see you, you next week, week, same time, same, same place, place on your very favorite show, Kids View. Khuda Hafiz.